Testimony continued today in the federal fraud trial of Isaac Culver. He and his partner are accused of conspiring to cheat the Bibb County School District out of millions of dollars by selling the district computer systems that could not be used. A familiar face appeared in the courtroom Thursday to testify for the prosecution. Former Bibb Superintendent Romaine Dolleman. No cameras are allowed in federal court. But our Randall Savage was in the courtroom to hear Dolleman's testimony. So, Randall, did you see Dolleman either entering or exiting the courthouse? No, I did not. They had already gotten him inside the courthouse, and we were unable to see him as he entered or when he left. Well, I know there was a lot of anticipation for his testimony. Approximately how long do you think he talked for? I wasn't in there during the entire time, but uh, he was, uh, while I was in there, he was probably about 15 minutes, and I'm told he was about 32 minutes. 35 okay. minutes total. As far as the essence of his testimony, is there any way to kind of capsulize it? Uh, they were asking him uh, to reaffirm some of the things that uh, was in the indictment, that uh, questions uh, about whether he had approved of, of such, uh, such and such a deals in the contract. Okay, and he's, you said during the testimony he kind of felt pretty good about the deal. He thought uh, that it was legitimate. Yes, he said he reviewed uh, the contracts, talked to his people, his computer people, and uh, talked some with the contractors. And he was okay with it and said, uh, yes, approved it. Now, a lot of folks, a lot of interest in this trial. Did you see any former or current school board members in the courtroom? Uh, there's quite a few people in the courtroom during his testimony. I did see current board, uh, school board member Lester Miller. There may have been some others there, but I did see him in particular. What about the defendant himself, Isaac Culver? Did you see him in the courthouse? Oh, yeah. He was sitting at the defense table. I saw him going into the courthouse, actually, spoke to him, and he turned around and waved. Now, Culver's lawyers blamed Alleman's unrealistic deadline for the non-working computers. The prosecution concluded its case today. The defense is expected to begin calling witnesses tomorrow morning. Check 13WMAZ.com for updates.